Arius, don't worry, buddy. Seriously. Hello and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen and attack helicopters. This is the next episode in our custom model showcase from Hive Workshop. Today's theme is going to be our top 10 space-related models. I hope you guys enjoy this one. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, first we have the alien model from Alien Ant Farm. This 830 kilobyte model is uncomfortable to say the very least. Now, I, I'm a big fan of it and I always enjoy space maps that include swarms of creepy little units and if I had to guess, I'd say this is definitely using the Scourge Ghoul model. And yeah, anyway, good, good job, Alien Ant Farm. I'm extremely uncomfortable now and I want you to know that. Next up, we have a Darth Vader model, brought to us by Olaf Molman. We're going to see quite a few of his Star Wars related models on today's showcase. And you know what? I gotta be honest. It's really neat. It's clearly using the Arthas wireframe and movement set, but there's something about the way that that slight saber looks that just automatically endears it to me. Now remember, Vader may be a bad guy, but this is a badass model. Next up is our Clone Trooper, again, brought to us by Olaf Molman. This 14,000 download, 150 kilobyte model is just actually a reskin of the existing Marine model within the game, but I thought that it was pretty neat looking. Now, what we're about to see coming up next kind of puts this one to a little bit of shame, but that's okay. You can see the Space Orc Elite by General Frank. This is a Gorgeous model. Look at the detail. I just want to say that General Frank is slowly becoming one of my favorite model makers on the Hive Workshop based off of his. We're going to see a few more of his today and the sheer detail that he's able to put into these models blows me away. This ma uh, model has 14,000, sorry, 11.5 thousand downloads and is only 227 kilobytes large. Please go check it out on the Hive Workshop. Next up, we have another one from General Frank. It's the Space Orc uh, uh, Shock Trooper model, actually, by General Frank. 11,000 downloads, 265 kilobytes large, and I just love that hard, steely, pumping model. Will you look at the light effects, that electrical sort of plasma look to everything? Now, I'm sure this is wildly impractical, pr impractical but... The Orcs don't care, mate. They're just in the mood for a right proper war. And one more from General Frank, we have the Ursa Major Tank. This 9.2 thousand downloads. Again, how are these models so freaking good? Will you look at all the moving parts on this? He's even got a hazard warning decal on the back. Uh, actual functioning missile launchers. It's, it's so freaking cool. And yet, he has way fewer downloads than other people. And his models are surprisingly low as far as file size go, I mean, 242 kilobytes. The alien model was 830 kilobytes. This, anyway, General Frank winning for today's MVP when it comes to custom models. Next up, we have another one from Olaf Molman in the Star Wars trilogy. We have the Rancor at 7.5 downloads and 201 kilobytes. It's actually significantly smaller than his alien model, and I like it a bit better. There's a little bit of an uncomfortable thing that goes on with the mouth that I don't know that I want to talk about, and we're going to see it here in a second. Um, yo, baby, what that mouth do, though? I'm extremely uncomfortable now. And next up, we have the Dwarf Spider Droid, again from Olaf Molman, 6.2 thousand downloads, 213 kilobytes. This is kind of cool. The weird thing about it is it doesn't have an attack animation listed that I could find, so there wasn't much I could do with that. Poor thing just blows up and dies. Next up, we have the massive Starbase by Loon's Guardian, only 4.6 thousand downloads. Um, but you know what? I mean, it's it's kind of cool looking. I can't imagine the map that it goes in, but if you don't find other uses for it, you can always turn it upside down. And, you know, if you're brave enough, everything's, a, oh God, page, no, page, no. And finally, wrapping up today's top 10, we have the Halo by Fingolin, a very detailed model from the Halo games of just, it's a simple spinning little ring that I liked the details on. Much smaller than you would have expected. You wouldn't think that the Halo would be a smaller than the Starbase, but that's, that's fine, I mean, I guess. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, leave me that like, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you later for the next top 10. Tom next week's top 10 is going to be top 10 Northrend models. Bye, guys.